Right now, where were we? 3.27 TTI. We are with golden butterflies flying through the wall. We're nearly there. We're over halfway now towards full terraformation. And our primary contributor to that is our oxygen increase. 292 million per second. Heat and pressure is mostly just to unlock things earlier on in the game, really. And then you just ramp the oxygen and be done with it. Which is why we have 12 plant rockets and uh, 19 seed spreader rockets. <laughs> and we could place a lot more tree spreaders and plant spreaders and such if we wanted to. What else were we doing? We were exploring portals again. We have a fusion energy cell. Was that what we wanted? Was that what we were doing through here? Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> I think it might have been. But I think I was pessimistic about it being productive enough to pay itself back. And our TTI is just constantly ticking up. We need to get to five to unlock the extraction platform. And then we'll find out what we can actually do with the extraction rocket. That's the bit that we don't know yet, is what do we need to then do something with it? <laughs> right, so we've got our flare here showing us the way back. There's places we haven't been down. Ah, here we go. Here's the fusion core. There we go. So we've immediately opened all of the doors and now have our mood lighting. Now we feel that we can go exploring. Oh, we've got another door leading up. All right. Up. Oh, good. First safe. Terra tokens. Not many, but it's something. We get one pulsar quartz back. That's a start given that uh, we needed three to create the uh, fusion cell. So that's a partial refund. Okay, and we got some explosives, which means we can use one of those to go through here. Just gonna let that sit for a bit. Okay, it's stabilized. They have a tendency to just fall down. And I don't want it rolling away. All right, this is just to another safe. Cool, another hundred, that's fine, I guess. Eh, yeah, bunch of rubbish that I don't really care about, but sure, I'll take it anyway. I don't need the eggplant seed. Yep, more explosives needed here. Alright. Ah, but I can see that there's a safe down that way. It started to roll off the pile. Oh, and an access card door too. Excellent. We don't find many of those. Okay, we've got our Pulsar Quartz refund, so that's nice. Don't need too many flares. Just one access card. Alright, uh, is there anything even in here? Okay, there's something. You couldn't even see it in the darkness. Big safe. Solar Quartz, eh, don't really care. Some genetic traits. Okay, 5,000 Terra Tokens. That's more like it. <laughs> and we might have to get selective about what things that we take with us now. Like, we don't really need Lerma Seeds. Okay, 10,000 Terra Tokens. That's even more like it. Uh, okay, let's be selective. Species 1, we get that anyway from grubs and stuff. We want things that are like variants. Species 4? Is that new? I feel that's new. I don't think I've got a Species 4 yet. Okay, I do not need Nitrogen, come to think of it. Um... Tier 4 mutagen is kind of nice. Tier 3 is a bit of a pain to make. So that's fine. Right, so that's that's everything now. Maybe we went up here and yeah, that was that. Okay. So that's this way done with then. We go back up. And yes, there's that. So here we now want to drop one of these flares here. And change the color to be red to indicate we have been that way. No reason to go back. Yes, hydration. Okay, blue indicates there is something still to investigate, I believe. We might need to go and empty our inventory and then just come back again, actually. Yeah, because I hadn't been that way yet. Alright, so there is a bit more to this wreck than we initially thought. Ah, this has opened, has it? Maybe? Ah, is this just another way to the same place? Maybe. Well, how many boxes are around here? 
Or is this a place I've already been, maybe? Judging by... Yeah, we'll take all of those. There was some iron in a locker back there, so maybe we've already been here. Okay. Let's go back to the portal, and we shall drink from our fountain on the other side, rather than expending our water bottle. Alright, now. Drink, 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 drink. Uh, we've got the weird thing of everything being super bright again. Is that... I wonder if that's an artifact from the portal or something. Because I was having this when I closed out of the game. And, uh, yeah, I was hoping that it was going to be gone when I came back. And it was when I started. And now it's back again. Okay, solar quartz can go there. Let's put all of those back in there. Oh, I'm going to have to close out and go come back in again. That seems to be just a visual bug that happens at the moment. That's rather annoying. Now, exit to menu. And we'll jump back in and hopefully this will reset things. Yes, there we go. The light is much better now. <laughs> Wait, is it already getting really bright again? Is the lighting just getting really weird? Is that just something that's happening in the game now? That I'm at the later terraformation stage? Surely not. Like the grass isn't bright white at least like it was before, so there's that. I wonder if you get different light effects based on whether or not you... Uh, do certain things like maybe my oxygen is too high or something I don't know I have noticed that the lighting in the game does just get a bit weird sometimes uh, we have a machine optimizer over here that is doing oxygen and that includes some of these trees presumably oh it's not getting that one that's interesting, because ideally we actually want to deconstruct something like that and have a 1200% flower spread, uh, tree spread are much closer because we want this boosted. There we go, 2700%. That's more like it. Um, I shouldn't have had to move it that close, but then what's this one? Another 2700% to the blue trees, yeah. Good. I uh, don't have any others it seems. But I believe that even a basic 100% uh, or 125% is going to be more than this. Let's just slap another one down closer anyway. And put in that one. I forgot to get the other tree seed out. Alright, so is this one getting boosted? 1650%. So yes it is. And it's 140 PPT per second. As opposed to... 6.83 ppt per second yeah you can't really complete flower spreader yeah you're 325 and you're 8500 yeah that'll help our oxygen tick up a little bit more what we should also be doing is just at every opportunity we should be creating new trees using the plants that we have so in here we've got these ingredients here Oh, we can even just do it straight using mutagens now. We don't even need to use other, like, plant seeds. I guess we're meant to have exhausted those, and now we're just doing that. Those are the mushroom ones, though. I don't like those. We can't make the 1200 ones, but we can make the uh, volnus ones. So tree bark, mutagen, and volnus plants. How many volnus plants do we have the seeds of? Quite a few, I feel. Yeah, five, in fact. Okay. Well, we'll do four. It does take a little time. So we do that, 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 and research. Well, let's go back through the portal again and check out that other thing. And I'll see if that light glitch comes back again. Let's go through the blue zone. Where was the blue area? But then I, I feel this is just, yeah, this is the other door to the place that I was just at, I think. Oh, well, it's another Pulsar Quartz at least, so that's good. Yeah, it's the fighter jet place. We'll clear out all of the stuff in here. Okay, maybe not all of it. Yeah, we don't actually care about those. Take that, take that, sure. More mutagen. That one's empty. Take those, put back the spaceship, uh, spacesuit, and those. That was, I think, pretty much it now. Alright, so there wasn't really much in there after all. 
Right, and then what we can do is deconstruct those and we get the explosive powder and bioplastic nugget back. Bioplastic nuggets are a bit of a pain to make, so it's kind of nice to get those back. Hey, bacteria sample, why not? So, uh, where was our red flare over there? We'll deconstruct that one as well. And deconstruct that one. And out we go. Portal finished. And it was kind of worth unlocking the doors on that one. We got a good return on our Pulsar Quartz investment, I think. Not sure how much extra we got over the entire zone. Yeah, sure, why not? But we can just make Pulsar Quartz as well. Ideally, you'd set up a bit of a production line in just making Pulsar Quartz, I think. Alright, we can close that portal now. Now, is everything bright again? Yes. Yes, it is. Everything is bright again. Okay, so it's a problem with the portal. Let's close... Okay, it was rarity 5, but difficulty only 3. Alright, everything's still too bright. What do we got here? Difficulty 5, so I'm not a fan of the sound of that. <laughs> Save. Exit to main menu. Reload. Ah, everything's no longer quite so glaring. Good. Now, uh, you should be finished, which means we need to set another one going. Research. Uh, what's our food situation like down here? Actually, you guys have nothing. Okay, we, we need to do something about that. Didn't I set up squash? Oh, but I'm not growing much squash, am I? And now I'm going to need squash to do... Ooh. Yeah, because I need squash to upgrade fertilizer, which I was hoping to do, but I've been feeding that ah to my guys. I could do eggplants. Okay, they can eat superfood. They're getting spoiled. Oomph. Oh, I have the species four. Whoa, you are chonky now. Okay, you've just got been fed. That's good. But your growth is eighty-three percent. Nice. Okay, and I'm going to pet you and get a genetic trait for you. Let's see what we got. Skin pattern. Okay. How about you? You're also good at the moment. Nice. Where's the other guys? You're over here. We got bioluminescence. Sweet. And coloring. All right. Uh, let's make another creature, shall we? We've got species four now. Color A, yep, good. And then some variants. Seems good. So, species, color A, color B. And then we have pattern, traits, and bioluminescence. Cool. So what's species four? Do we already have species four? Oh, you were species four, weren't you? Were you? No, you're species two. Your species 3, your species 1, your species 3, but just a different variant. Okay, so what's species 4? Oh, I don't have enough room. We have species 3, 2, 3, 1, 2. I mean, I can build another animal shelter. That's fine. Just a little bit of admin going on. Hey, we've ticked up over 4 TI now, so there's that. Now, animal feeder. <laughs> I'm trying to do too many things all at once. There's feeder and there's shelter as well. So, which one was I putting honey in? Or was I not anymore? Was there meant to be a honey backlog? Yeah, you're demanding honey. But I guess you're using honey as well. Oh, you're full of bee larvae. God damn it. <sighs> I knew this was going to happen. Turns out, you probably want to just stick with tier 1. In you go. I can't even be bothered breaking you down. Or should I? What was it you gave me again? I do get fertilizer, but only only level one fertilizer. I mean, it's a good way to keep getting level one fertilizer, at least. There we go. Just 
too many bee larvae, and they're all in here too. Ah, uh, dear. Out you come. I have too much other stuff on me now. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of that fertilizer and mutagen that I picked up. There, and fertilizer there. I need a different place to put the bee larvae. <laughs> need to put it straight into the rubbish shredder or whatever uh, and then just need to periodically just press the button when I know that it's full demand for bee larvae should go somewhere else that isn't the tree bark one that keeps getting full I have so many spare iron in here that we can then come up here and just go okay locker storage there and there these demand bee larvae you demand bee larvae <laughs> there we go and then i can just work from there into here if i need to you also demand bee larvae but we've got overflow so then we could just need to come up, press the button, and clear out those containers. I was at one point wanting bee larvae to be produced by those, but it should be something that has a separate bucket, I feel, to the, uh, to the honey. It shouldn't be either or, I, I shouldn't have to choose between them. So we only needed the honey for the second animal feeder, which isn't that necessary. The key point was I wanted to place down another one of these first and see what species 4 is like. E you're funny. What are you? You're like a snail almost. What genetic trait do I get back? Color A. Oh, it's better than nothing. Let's just go around and pet all of you guys again. Alright. Got a full round of traits. I should really put a door just out the front side of the bio lab or something. I'm taking that before you can get to it. Sorry, drone. <laughs> Yoink. So what did I set you up for? You're demanding, yeah, mushroom and eggplants. And then if I set up a second one that demands the same... Demand, eggplant, and mushroom. There we go. It'd be nice if they could just eat larvae or something off the ground. <laughs> I need to just take a bunch of these out. And also stop demanding that. You are going to demand tree bark and tree bark only now. Let's go upstairs and delete some bee larvae, shall we? We could always send another rocket up too. So was it insect spreader rocket, I think, required bee larvae? Oh yeah, I started putting some tree spreaders over there too. Yeah. Rocket engine, osmium rod, tier 2 mutagen. I have some rocket engines. Insect spreader. It's a use for bee larvae. There you go. Up, up and away. I should probably have just been doing a lot more of that, quite frankly. So now we have 11 insect rockets. Because <laughs> why not? We could send up more seed spreaders and stuff too and just keep ramping if we really wanted to. Well, 85% of the way there. I don't feel too bad about that. Well, that's our little bit of uh, busy work for the time being. Just to let us ramp a bit further. We have a lot more oxygen being produced. What were we at to start with? 200 and something million. Now we're up to 380 million. So that's quite a big jump, isn't it? That's nice. And into the 81 million for biomass. Um, I want to do a little bit more exploring now because I seem to remember that with the explosives update, they mentioned there was a new biome had been added. And I'm not sure if I've been there yet. And it was, I believe, they said it was behind a waterfall or something between the arches in the sea note biome i'm not sure but i want to go looking go to some some parts of the map that we've not been to for a while did i still have a super alloy 
extraction platform? I don't think I did. I can't remember where I've put my tier 2 extraction platform anymore. I've got tier 1 over there still for sulfur. Which I've not really been needing much. I don't even need that at all now because the only reason I was really getting sulfur was for fertilizer. And now I know that I can just deconstruct bee larvae. <laughs> Still sounds weird to, to mention it like that, but that's what we do. Uh, that's not why I came here. Let's leave that there for now. Is my tier 2 still in here for zeolite or osmium? Osmium. Here it is. Okay. Let's just clear out all of this stuff. Do that. What do I have in these ones? Ah, oh, empty. Okay. okay well, we'll take the osmium back with us. Why not? Now, what was up this way? This is the arches, yeah. And here's the sandfall area, which is looking pretty nice now. So, was there something new up here that I should be investigating? Or is that like the special biome that we went to earlier and got our golden frogs from? I'm not sure. There is that way off there. There's the old wreck up here that I don't really feel there's anything else to look at up this way. We cleared out that wreck, rebuilt everything that was inside it out here. We've got so many more seeds and stuff, we really should have just been doubling down on those. If I had put more food growers down earlier and just really gone to town on the eggplants, that sounds bad. Um, and just made a ton of fertilizer, then I could have made so many extra plants. Oh, hello. I've not been to you before. <laughs> that's some real late game materials in here. All right. And that's why you leave blue crates until the end game, if you can. If you don't absolutely need them. Oh, we're above the warden area, so we couldn't even jump. Unless you specifically need things from crates leave them until late game because then they give you some really good stuff oh this is just the shortcut that goes through to the special biome isn't it and then there's the waterfall here which presumably is this what they meant by the, what they've added and it's just the the golden frog with the new warden ending surely not i'm sure that was already in the game so what were they meaning then? Maybe I should take a look at the uh, brief again. Or maybe I went the wrong way. Let's just quickly look at the old update. Where do they say? New small biome between Cascades and Seanote. Look behind the waterfalls. Cascades and Seanote. Alright, well that was a bit of a wild goose chase in the end. Is this considered Cascades? Oh, this might be what they mean. Aluminium there. Okay, there's explosive wall. Okay, this will be what they mean. But I need explosives. So this is Cascades then. I was thinking Cascades was on the northern side of the map where there's other waterfalls. But this does make sense that this would be considered Cascades. Cascades. 